Alright, so what's up guys? It's Monday morning and I'm on the way to go to the dealership and pick up my Mustang. Um, it's been since last Wednesday that I dropped off the car and now, it's, so it's been about five days. Um, and they gave me this loaner, what, Lincoln MKX. It only had like 300 miles when I got now it has 700. Um, but, so unfortunately, they told me like it's crazy because I showed the two techs exactly what the noise is and they heard it too and they didn't know what it was and they said it, it doesn't sound normal but the crazy thing is they say everything is running fine everything looks good running as should whatever um, so I kind of got upset with that and what it made what made things even worse was the fact that they they're, they're asking me to pay for the rental vehicle for the past five days which is like $39 a day or something and I was like are you kidding me so this, this is just ridiculous um, something that that I sh like I shouldn't have to pay for a rent rental vehicle if you know, especially if the vehicles under warranty um, so this is the first time that I ever had this kind of experience where I was asked to pay for the rental vehicle so I called Ford tech, uh, Ford was it Ford customer service, and uh, I got them involved and I have a case number open, um, and so they're actually gonna be reimbursing me for the cost of the rental vehicle. It kind of sucks because it's, they didn't really. It seems like they didn't really get to find out exactly what's causing the noise and why. Um, and I spoke to my service advisor. I kind of asked him. I asked him, like, you know, did did your text find out where the noise is coming from and why it's causing the noise? And he didn't really say anything other than, yeah, the text checked for metal shavings. They didn't see anything, and they checked uh, with the boroscope. Said everything looked fine. And so I'm kind of questioning the text, like. Are they really doing a good job as far as diagnosing or are they kind of just you know half-assing the work so it looks like I'm gonna be diagnosing the car myself and try to boil it up like get down to exactly what this noise is uh, coming from and uh, kind of sucks that I have to you know kind of work on my own car like that because even though it's on warranty but it just saves the hassle of having to deal with all this dealership nonsense that is just such a pain in the butt. The service advisor did tell me that they found the car has about one quart and a half low on oil. Um, and it's kind of ridiculous because like I never, the car only has 3,600 miles and they're telling me that it's, it, it is due for, for an oil change. I mean, of course, because it's low on oil, but it's like, why is it low on oil if it's never even gotten oil change before or anything? And I'm just like, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. And unless the car has been burning up oil like that, which I've never had a car that burned that much oil within such a short mile, like mile mileage period. If I do do an oil change, he was quoting me $120, which is just stupid. <laughs> for an oil change uh, when I can just do the same oil change myself for only about 25 or actually no because I need two gallons um, because the car takes 10 quarts that would mean I need two jugs so it'll still only be about 50 bucks compared to 120 which is just ridiculous for an oil change I'll just let you guys know if I find anything myself I'm gonna have to uh, do a I'm gonna use a boroscope and even check it myself um, you know pull the plugs check cylinder 8 and same thing with the with the noise I'm actually what, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift put it up in the air not not on a lift because I don't have one I wish I did but I'm going to put it on jack stands and have the engine you know have the car on and I'm gonna take off the belly pans underneath the car and start using uh, my, my stethoscope and just start listening to where the sound is 
coming from exactly and try to find out exactly if it's like inside the timing timing cover the timing chain cover or if it is coming from the belt area like the drive belt but uh yeah so that's where i'm at heading to the dealership and just gonna pick up my car um and so yeah i'm happy about that because i get to just drive my car again and i'm tired of driving this big uh, luxury suv which kind of i don't really it's nice and quiet okay it's nice and quiet but it, it's it's very like dull and i don't think it's that nice of a suv like especially for the cost of this thing like 40 something thousand dollars for this thing is like it's ridiculous the, the interior panels in here are just like cheap plastic looking compared to even a Mercedes or if you were to get like a Acura, even the Acura interiors look a lot like nicer than this. But um, anyways, that's, that's totally off topic. So anyways, that's where I'm at right now. So I'll update you guys when I find something new on the car. Peace out. Okay, so noise still exists.